Okay, time for the next piece of our game. Um, here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we are going to make our bullets. So I'm just going to get my paintbrush here and I'm just going to draw a little. I'm going to use that for a bullet right now, okay? So that's going to be my bullet. Um, I'll fix the graphic later, you know, make a nice image or something or drawing. So I'll just uh, select this. I just drew it on the stage with my brush and I'm going to hit F8 and convert it to a symbol, movie clip, call it bullet. Notice I've set the registration point to right here. That sounds good. And I'm going to export for action script. Export in the first frame. Notice there's two modes here, basic and advanced. And a name's also going to be bullet. Okay, so now I have a movie clip for my bullet in my gun. And I'll just delete that off the stage. Okay, select it and press delete. All right, and um, so now it should be in the library. There's bullet, and linkage should be set on it and to bullet. Okay, um, time to code this thing up. All right, now what we got here is this is our code from before. All right, sounds good. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to go to um, function set message. And then when we go down to set message, let's look at um, case two. Okay. In case two, it's we set the uh, reload depth, right? And then we attach reload underscore MC, give it the new name reload underscore MC, and set it to the reload depth, which is 10 set some X and Y properties and set reload gun to true alright so true uh, that's a boolean right but if we if we also wanted we could just instead say reload gun and set it pass it a one so one also counts for true so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna um, change that to that alright and then I'm gonna scroll down okay function game on and I'm gonna I foresee a problem here so I'm gonna show you this problem right now. instead of um, using a uh, gun on I'm going to comment that out and I'm gonna say gun interval okay equals a set interval command okay um, so uh, this is the set interval command it has to have a capital I and then I'm gonna say call gun on alright and call it after one second. So if I pass it 1,000, that means uh, 1,000 uh, milliseconds, or uh, this is in milliseconds, so that's one second. 1,000 equals one second, and that's going to call the gun on function. Okay, so I set the gun interval, and I commented out just gun on. Before I had gun on, but uh, in my situation, it didn't work out so well to have it not like that. So, um, all right, and then I'm going to um, scroll down. Okay, play game. All right, that's where we got our new routes, right? Routes, routes, routes. And then we moved our target. All right, and um, now it's time to continue um, with our game. So we're going to need some um, functions, right? The first function we're going to need the gun on function. Okay. Um, we're also going to need the reload gun function called right here. All right, and the gun on function. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, and we'll start with. We're going to go. I'm skip a couple lines here at the bottom, and I'm going to start with a couple of variables. Well, first of all, var bullet underscore depth equals. I'm going to set it to fifty thousand and um, var bullet capital C capacity equal to 5 so the max bullets we can have will be 5 right and I'm putting these um, these two variables are not in a function right these are on just you know they're not inside of anything else um, I tried to put them in our first function the init function and um, I had scope issues. I couldn't get the variable to show up 
in the function I'm about to write, so I had to put it here. Okay, so function reload gun, and we're going to pass it a variable, x. As you remember, we set it to 1 or to true. So when reload gun is called, 1 will, x will stand for 1 and, and or true, and so we're going to basically pass it a, a 1 or a 0 or a true and a false. And so this x needs to be in here to, ready to accept that. And on the reload gun, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the gun, gun off, which is now another function we need to write. And we say if, trying to make some room here, if, open and close parentheses, open curly brace, close curly brace. If not exclamation point not x if not x so that what this says right here now is if x is false right if not x right so if x is false then this will be true does that make sense so if not x well not x means x equals false so if x is false then we'll do this whatever's in here and we'll say gun interval equals set interval, which is what we did before. Okay, gun on. And we'll explain how that works later. But if um, so, if reload gun is uh, is false, right? Then we will turn the gun on in 750 milliseconds. All right. Else, right? Go to the next line, open up a curly brace, two lines down, close a curly brace. Else, bullets, which is a variable I'm doing on the fly, equals bullet capacity. Okay? So now bullets is going to be equal to 5. Right? And then it's time for a for loop. So we're going to write a loop here. For, open and close parentheses, open curly brace, close curly brace. Okay, so we're ready for our for loop. Now the for loop gets um, three arguments inside of it. 